Hello and welcome to a new video about measurements. This time we are going to talk about yet another measurement structure. So we had chain structure, parallel structure, and now we are talking about the circle structure. Okay, What the circle structure is and how it looks like, I'm going to explain now and then we will talk about the benefits or usage of this. Huh? So in circle structure we do have one forward loop uh, element and one backward loop okay. and then there here we have some sort of mixing point and the input value xi is coming here all right here we have xi And back there, we have XO. But XO is not only put out, but also fed back. Uh, here we have XO. And this here, this is the feedback loop. I call this XF feedback. And the difference here we have XI minus XF. Okay? So here we have plus, and here we usually have minus, so we have negative feedback. Okay. And here we have some gain factor called K1, and here we have Kg in the backward loop. This is how this looks like. All right. So whatever comes here, is compared to the output and the difference is producing the output. Let's calculate the transfer function. All right, let's calculate the transfer function. So we have here, uh, if we have a look at this, we have here XO equals, and then we have XI minus XF. multiplied by k1 okay just this part and this xf equals xo multiplied by kg just this part and this i will use here so here and now i will make everything the same color xo equals xi minus xo multiplied by kg multiplied by k1 okay and now i separate the variables so i bring this in xo equals xi multiplied by k1 minus xo multiplied by kg k1 bring it to the other side uh, xo plus xo multiplied by kg k1 equals xi k1 and now i get out xo here 1 plus kg k1 equals xi k1 yeah looking already pretty promising and now i want to, to have the sensitivity okay so i want to have delta xo divided by delta xi. So I bring this to this side and this is here k1 divided by 1 plus kg k1 and now I will do k1 below. So here we have 1 divided by 
1 divided by k1 plus kg. Yeah. So I divided at the upper part, at the lower part of this fraction, I divided by k1. Good. So what do we see here? Uh, this is the this is the sensitivity, uh, and the sensitivity. Look at that. If K one is very big, uh, one divided by K one is almost zero, uh, around zero. So it's just one divided by kg. So if this is as high as possible, yeah, the transfer function or the, 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 the sensitivity is only depending on this feedback here. All right. So we have to tend that this gain factor here is as high as possible. This means this difference here is very low. All right. And here, here comes already the, the big benefit of it. So I compare the input value to something I, the measurement device itself produces. And only the difference is used to indicate the measurement. So actually it's compensating the input value. All right. So the input value is compensated by the measurement range. And if the gain factor here is very high, the compensation is working pretty well. All right. Now, what, what is the big difference now? Here, I usually drain energy to measure. Yeah. Here, this input value has to drive something inside the measurement device. This drives takes energy. If something is taking energy, I will make mistakes in measurement. One simple example, simple example, we do have here power source. We have here the source voltage, we have here an internal resistance, that's it. And if I want to measure here the voltage with a voltmeter, then suddenly I have here a tiny but current running. This is Xi into, and this Xi is producing here a UI. Okay. Here we have some measurement current, EM. So with my measurement, it's not like that. Yeah? With my measurement, I influence, influence the, the object and I'm not measuring the source voltage. I'm measuring here this voltage and U and this is U0 minus UI. Okay. And this is Ri multiplied by Im. So I make an error here. Okay. I make an error because I'm draining energy from this system. I'm draining energy. If I would be able the same power source Here measure the voltage, and here I have now an adjustable voltage range. All right, then I could bring this voltage to exactly this voltage as long as the current here is zero. This measurement is only indicating E shall be zero. 
this is my this is my condition all right and if a is zero then those two voltages need to be the same and they are exactly the same and if i know how big i made this voltage all right then I know exactly the voltage of this. Yeah? So this is some sort of subtle circle structure where I compensate the input variable with from my measurement. Yeah? So this helps me to really prevent influence on my measured object. This is the big benefit of circle structure. Okay. So here we make influence on object okay, we have no influence on object All right circle structure not always possible but definitely good thing Looking a little bit complex, but hey, the better the system is, the more complex it is. I am not saying you always have to do it like this whenever possible, because it's simply not, it's simply not applicable. Because often it's more than enough if you use chain structure or something like this. All right. Just wanted to point out the difference. And now we have seen. With my measurement, I influence. I can influence the object. This is some error I do. Yeah? Measurement error. So and this is the topic of our next videos. We in next videos, now we let the structures be structured. And next videos, we are talking about possible errors we make during measurement. Because if we measure, we make errors. What type of errors and so on next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.